Hey guys, back here with Tua for another one. I made a video the other day when I was working on sits, stays, and comes with him, and I had mentioned in that video how I hadn't really worked formally a lot with him um, very consistently recently, and how the sits and stays that he did in that video, which were actually pretty good, all things considered, that it was nowhere near as good as he could be. And I had mentioned how I previously made a video, I had him do a sit and stay for about 20 minutes. And that got me thinking, I wanted to uh, go back and look at that again to see how good he was when I was working with him much more often on commands like that. And I figured I would let everybody else view it right along with me as well to take a look since it wasn't too viewed. So here we go. As you guys can see, there's going to be a lot of distractions for this long stay. He definitely wouldn't have been able to do this the other day when I recorded that video. Uh, back here was about a year ago, maybe a little over, and I was working with him a lot and pushing the envelope a lot with his training. And uh, just kind of goes against the stereotype like I was talking about in the other video that bull mastiffs are difficult to train. This kind of goes to show if you work with them consistently, they uh, can definitely be very, very good dogs and easy to train. I just think it's funny looking back at this now how his head is just completely on a swivel. He's looking all over all the time and especially with the video sped up here it just kind of looks funny. Very very good to him. I'm kind of surprised myself looking back at this how good he's doing. And the main thing I was looking for, which I explained in the beginning of this original video, is not necessarily that he can't move at all, I just wanted him to stay in his spot, whether he's sitting, laying down, or standing. So a little bit of movement like that is not the end of the world, as long as he stays in his spot.
Hopefully this just kind of goes to show that most dogs, regardless of breed, can be pretty obedient and learn a lot of uh, basic obedience commands as long as you work with them really consistently and that consistency is the main point. Good boy, dude. You're free. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. 